Now, here's my, here's my thinking, because I've seen it, and I have these guys in the streets. Testosterone and decanate, plus a revolving system, a revolving regimen, I'm giving it to you guys, of HCG, then you switch it to proviron, then you switch it to one of the serums, clomiphene, probably n clomiphene is best. Boom. How do you like that? Stay fertile on testosterone. Is this possible? Is this a misnomer? Is there new science? What's going on here, guys? So we know that men have been utilizing anabolic androgenic steroids and testosterone itself for decades. And one of the side effects is you get shut down, right? What does it mean? Your brain and your testicles get disconnected. It's called the hypothalamus pituitary testicular axis. And when you take androgens, even a little testosterone. So what are we taking? Injections, topical. We have pellets. We have creams and patches. Whenever you do this, it goes into your body. It's exogenous, it's called. And then your endogenous androgen testic from the testicles that's in a loop with this circadian mammal loop, right? Old school, low brain, hypothalamus, pituitary, gonads. You break that, right? And then your testicles shut off and then you're in this roller coaster ride. And then we all, we have these drugs. We have serms, right? We do have clomiphene and clomiphene. We have HCG. We have other, we have recombinantly produced LH and FSH analogs, guys. We have HMG. We have all sorts of stuff, tricky little stuff out there. And we have some stuff called Proviron, right? This is old school. This is a full video for you guys. You're on, you're young. You want to be on testosterone. But doc, what am I doing about maintaining the fertility? Do we take testosterone with HCG? Now we see that some clinics and some guys, I just don't really like it and think it's sustainable. Testosterone plus clomiphene or N-clomiphene. It's just not sustainable and men just don't feel great on this stuff for long. And this is expensive, it's injections, it's, it's can you do something from the outset? Is there a testosterone delivery mechanism that you could limit the shutdown. Is it possible you could have your cake and eat it too? I think it's possible. I've seen the data. I've been I've been underground, guys. I've been I've been looking at other doctors. I'm definitely not going to mention names because I just don't want to do it. And I've I've been looking at these doctors, watching doctors, researching this. I'm Dr. Thomas O'Connor, a lifelong powerlifter, board certified physician, and published academic author. I've taken care of thousands of men on testosterone and steroids, and now I use my media appearances in this YouTube channel to provide education and harm reduction. Subscribe now so I can help you stay strong and healthy. So here's what's going on. There's testosterone undecanate oral pills guys it is testosterone undecanate oral pay attention guys this is very simple the half-life of that drug is hours the peak to concentration hours i mean this is like super short acting there's where the mechanism is there's no rocket science on this and the problem with this medication is you need to take it like twice a day it's oral. Guys, it doesn't hurt the liver. It ends up entering into the circulation through lymphatics. It doesn't, it's not an alpha alkylated, 17 alpha alkylated methylated uh, testosterone we had from years ago. It's not like Anadrol or Dianabol, not even like where the mechanisms where it's like Anavar. It's not liver toxic, guys. Everyone who says that it is doesn't know what they're saying. It runs through lymphatic system into the circulation. It bypasses that their first pass effect. It's bypassing any toxicities in the liver. Trust me, it's not liver toxic. Okay, so otherwise it wouldn't be out there. <laughs> I mean, they would, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be out there. Okay, so again, this is out there. It's expensive. It's, 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 cause it's, I don't think it's any generic of this stuff. Maybe I'm even wrong. And I don't want to say the names of the stuff. I'm going to call it testosterone undecanate oral. Okay. It's 100 milligrams. It's a 200 milligrams 
there's something like one, I think 150 in the big, in the middle. I don't prescribe this stuff. It's expensive. Most of my cats, they just want testosterone injections. And I work around the fertility of the old school days, like I'm talking about with the clomiphene and the HCG and just getting guys on and off and things like this. This is changing. Because of the half-life is so short, and the way you're going to take it, it has it has in the circadian rhythm throughout the day, there's a point where you could give yourself testosterone to your body and your brain, even the muscles. Well, this is never going to be great for benching compared to injections, but you're young and we're trying to maintain the best of both worlds for fertility without playing the games with the other serms and the injections, guys, and coming off completely. Again, this is a game changer potentially, and it does work for some men. Is it sustainable? I don't know. Here's how it works. Again, it's very, very short acting. You're going to, at the same time, stimulate your brain and your body with testosterone. And then when you go to sleep, you're potentially, it's out of the system. And we're, we're, we're allowing the hypothalamus pituitary to, to wake up and to have stimulation to maintain the, 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 the trophic, if you will, the spermatogenesis. It's simple, guys. Let's look at it more. I explained to you the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis. How do you like that picture, guys? You take androgens, the injections, the topical, the pellets, you take them, and a certain amount of the dose of the oral, it shuts down your hypothalamus pituitary, and then you don't have a stimulation to your testicles, Ladig and serotoli. And then you, there's a closed loop that testosterone goes up, stimulates the brain, obviously very complex with even estrogens. And then there's a closed loop and your brain on a circadian rhythm from day to day, sleeping and so on and so forth. That's why I love you guys who are, who are law enforcement and, and military and who are working in first responders and you have sleep cycle problems, this no prop, no question is an issue. And when you're training hard and you're out there in military missions for months and weeks and you're in really tough environments, yeah, it shuts down your natural production. Maybe this is going to be great too for, for our military. You guys know I love you guys so much. Badass men and out there and women, but this is just for my men. So... So you're stressed, you're either taking exogenous androgens, not to mention obesity and all these other, you have low T, you want to take testosterone, but you don't want to shut down the, the, your fertility because that's just going to be a pain. And it could be devastating because you could maybe not even have children because it's so hard and you can't access clomiphene and clomiphene, um, uh, HCG, Brevel, Ovidril, FSA. Guys, Come on, it's just, it's, this is really serious. So can we stay fertile on testosterone? Yes, I think it's possible. I just don't know. We have no data yet. They're working on it, but we don't have end data. So here's what's going on first, right here, right from me. First, you're gonna hear of, the, the, of some things I'm coming up with here, watch this. So we understand the physiology, hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis that's being suppressed. We know that this drug is half life is very short. It's less suppressive. That's it. How do we manipulate it? What kind of combinations? We got testosterone undecanate. That's TU. That's the oral TU. It's not the injection long acting, super short acting. It's the oral form. You could use it alone. The studies show that it may be less suppressive. Again, because of the half life, guys, it's in and out quick. Again, next, you could use it. Here's where the money is. You guys, you could use it with a serum, clomiphene and or enclomiphene. I'll get down to the doses down here. You could use it also, you could use it testosterone undecanate oral with, with, with testosterone injections and it's called, a, it's like a sparing agent. If you, you could use a little oral with testosterone injections so you can use a little less testosterone injection. Maybe you're better on that, maybe your mood's better. It spares it. It's you can use less injection, so maybe you get less side effects of, of estrogen conversion and maybe acne, <clears throat> and maybe you can maintain uh, closer to some fertility. But again, if you're on injections, you're playing a game with suppressing your hypothalamus pituitary and therefore your gonads. Oh, spermatogenesis is down. Okay, this is the side effect profile. So again, using the oral 
agent, testosterone on decanate alone. Now we start using it with combinations. Now, here's my, here's my thinking because I've seen it and I have these guys in the streets. Testosterone and decanate plus a revolving system, a revolving regimen, I'm giving it to you guys, of HCG, then you switch it to proviron, then you switch it to one of the serums, clomiphene, probably n clomiphene is best. Boom. How do you like that? This is maximum limitation of tolerance because you're changing it. The problem with these regimens, guys, is, and some of these endocrinology guys that are brilliant and urologists that are coming into the world, they know that if you stay in any one of these things too long, you build tolerance and it doesn't work. It's down regulation and tolerance, old school. So this right here, this is my iteration. This is from me and from, from, from men in the streets that have been looking at this for about a year or so now. Now, without the undecanate, I've seen it with proviron, HCG, and serums, just circling them, going on, off, and maintaining men's potential fertility, working like a charm. This is, again, not extreme steroid users. Okay, so that's my input. Now, what are the doses looking like? Well, testosterone undecanate is typically 100. It's either 100, 150, or 200, and it's got to be twice a day with meals. It's hard, guys. It's, if, you're, if you forget to take stuff and you can't remember even to take injections every five days or three days or once a week, this is going to be horrible for you. This is for a guy who's on point. And again, wants to potentially be on testosterone and stay fertile. So next, here's the secret from the doctors that I've learned this from and from the guys I've seen in the streets. I've only had a few guys looking at this and doing it. And so far, it, they feel good and it's maintaining the sperm counts. You take about 100 milligrams of the undecanate in the morning and then you take a little a, a dose again in the early, like at lunch. So like 6, 7 in the morning and then lunch. Nothing later than like two in the afternoon. I'm giving you guys the secrets. That's what it is and what happens. And then at night, you take N-clomiphene or clomiphene. Uh, we, all, we all kind of like N-clomiphene. It's a racemic isomer. It looks a little better, more fitting, less, less, it's more, it looks more, more powerful for the, for the set, for the receptor, and it may look better in its ability to not cause increase in estrogen. Again, this is isolated issue, but together with this, it might work really, really well. You have to have access to good quality medications. So when you look at this, doing it early, quick, hit, hit, and then it, it washes out by night, the FSH and LH is starting to go up, and then you increase that by stimulating synergistically with a CIRM. Or you could use my Proviron and or my HCG. Boom. There's no question. These guys are doing it like this. These are what the urology doctors are using, and I think they're on top of it. And I'm very, very interesting that using the, the 100, the more you use and the closer you're using it to the night, you're going to get shut down 24-7. You're going to lose this, this potential effect. And can this last forever? Probably not, guys. Who knows? So next is, so I, this is the trick. 100 in the a.m. and then early p.m., right nothing late past two o'clock and then at night you take at night at night sleep at seven o'clock to nine o'clock at night you hopefully you're you have a regular circadian rhythm 12.5 to 25 milligrams of n clomiphene i don't like every day i like it because of the risk because of the the shutdown i love the every other day again tolerance 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 the shutdown that's just what i've used guys so i'm using all these things together that i see the the, the best benefits N another now down here this is just saying that you can go up to 200 milligrams again it's going to be once a day even once a day or but it has to really be twice a day and if you keep it early in the day to keep down that shutdown with the hypothalamus pituitary gonads now this down here is the, the, the 100 to 200 milligrams with the, with the sparing, with the injection, sipinate or nanthate, so you could, I, you're going to use less injection. So it's like 50 to 75 milligrams a week of an injection testosterone, probably sipinate or nanthate, could be sussing on 250. It's not undecanate. Don't use undecanate pill and injection. That's super long acting. It's, it's interesting, undecanate, the ester testosterone undecanate for the injection is the most long acting, but for the oral form, it's the most short acting. 
It's absolutely, and I know there's acetate, guys. We're not going to go into that, okay? Injection. And then there's, there's probe, of course, we know, short acting. And then there's, there's just other super short acting esters, but it's beyond the scope. This is stuff that guys should be able to get easily. A lot of those things is not easy, easy. I know you can get probe. I know you can get probe. But this is like common stuff. So that's it right there, guys. That's it. What can I close with? Best candidate. You're a young man. You've never been exposed to antigens. You're looking for fertility on testosterone. Boom. That's my candidate. Next, young man or any man, young man or any man who just says, ah, I just want to use less testosterone. I want my testicles to be less shut off. It's a big complaint. It's a big issue. And then what's the bottom line? Again, any man, because you're, you're just minimizing the, the shutdown. You're getting your cake and eat it too. It's really what's potentially happening. Is it sustainable? Time will tell. Last piece, management, ABCDs, guys. Absolutely the same. Thank you so much, guys. Let's get some good comments. Are you guys doing this? Are you seeing this? Come on, bro science guys. Give me some good comments on this. Thank you guys so much.